How's it going guys? My name is Kyler and welcome to episode 16 of the Crack Pack. So I decided to walk all the way up here mainly because I was trying to figure out what might be beyond this point here. I don't think we've gone much further at least um, in this direction. Where is it? It is this mini map here which for some reason I can't seem to zoom out for now. Is that the one? There's so many other mini maps involved in this thing. I don't want to set that. Nope I don't I don't want to do that but that's not the main point of this too. Once I walked up here I was like wow. This is actually a pretty good world we got going on here. I know it's episode 16 and it's not really a, uh, a memorable number in the grand scheme of all things, but just to kind of just sit back for a second, it's like, this is, this is kind of cool. I, I love the origin biome. Like, this thing is amazing. And then you got these valleys that we really haven't uh, discovered too much. And we might do that a bit today because I really want to get to finding those sheep. And I want to get the sheep pen up and running because that has been something since, like, episode two I think that I've been just trying to get going and has never happened so I definitely want to try and do that today and uh let's go ahead and see if we can fly all the way over here I know that I know we did this a few episodes ago to where uh we tried to fly all the way yeah we should be good this is I always underestimate the hang glider actually let's go fast let's go Ooh, this thing I always forgot that too that you can uh just go nice and fast here but let's go ahead and see if I can land right at the front door Okay, that's actually nice. I thought I was gonna break some crap. So let's go ahead and go down now So unfortunately, I haven't had much time over the past few days. There's been a hurricane uh, where, where the winds were just so bad. It wasn't like the power was going out But the winds were so bad that it, it, it wasn't worth making a video it would have been Like in the back the whole time and uh, and then speaking of noises in the back, like my microphone had a problem with it and I thought it was the winds at the time. I even said like in the description of the video that there was a hurricane going outside and that was also true but it wasn't as bad so it didn't really pick it up that much. It was my mic. My mic had broke and it was making like a bumping noise so often it was just annoying me. So I got that fixed. I just got the same mic again and then the problem with that one was when I got this same mic, my voice sounded different. I don't know if it's still different but it sounds... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, like, I, like I'm holding my nose and I'm doing a commentary. It's the same exact mic. I don't understand that. So hopefully uh, it's back to normal. It was good for the Counter-Strike video yesterday, but that's kind of been my week. And the reason why I bring that up is because I wanted to go ahead and explore the, uh, what is this, the Module Force Field System. That's what MFFS. I always forget that means. I wanted to go ahead and explore that mod, and I tried it out a long time ago uh, when we did, like, the first Minecraft, with, or was it the second? We've done so many of those random things. Whenever I, I did a season with uh, Chris and, and whatever our Minecraft series was at the time, uh, we tried that out, but we didn't really do much of it. We honestly cheated. We showed that on camera that, that we were like, okay, let's just get this thing up and going because the mobs are so ridiculous at the time. And I wanted to do it for real this time, but unfortunately, they've changed a lot of things. And like I stated already, I didn't have much time to research it. So definitely want to get to work on that next episode. So I do apologize for that, but I still have a pretty good uh, episode prepared today because we're going to upgrade the power suit some more. I did go ahead and get a bunch of copper off the camera. So I got that right there. I don't know why I always say anything off a camera. What? Off the camera, or off camera, excuse me. And I think I have a few more in here too. So let me go ahead and throw those in here while we're going. I still haven't put a world anchor down in this spot. I don't think so, right? I didn't put one over here? No, okay, so maybe we'll get that done. I don't really know. We're going to need some ender pearls for the elevator today. And the reason why I have fixed the elevator, which now I think it really isn't that good of a of an explanation because we're not fixing anything. We're just going to add more so. For the longest time, I've been trying to figure out where I'm going to put the agenda board, and that's one of the problems. And I'm going to put it probably right, uh, right here. I want to see. So look, there's two there too. I was also thinking of maybe putting it inside this one, but I'm going to make it its own room. So I'll probably place it down like here, and we'll put an elevator, and it will have its own room that we can go down to. We'll design it, look nice, so that the grand scheme of everything. Like I want to put a. Uh, a, not really a staircase, but like stairs in the middle so I can have like a platform there and then just look at the agenda. Maybe I'll fill up like the, all the walls so we can have an overall agenda and just get some things going so I can keep it in the back of my head because I find that that's the easiest way for me to do these series is to just plan it out in game and so you guys can actually see it rather than I'm looking over here 95% of the time trying to see 
what we're going to do next. So I definitely want to do that. And then also what we're going to do with the elevators is when I first planned this room, I wanted to make it to where I could put another elevator that went all the way down here. And as you can see, our bottom of the mine, that isn't right below this one. It's the other mine shaft that we've been using for the longest time. And I want to just get rid of that. So I want to get rid of that and make an elevator that goes all the way down. It would be much more simpler and, and faster and just better for everything. And then also I already mentioned the sheep problem. And if we have time, we'll reset the query. And probably number two or three on the list there is make a tool in the smelter. I went ahead and somewhere around here, I think it's back in this chest. I was moving things from the old query, so I just decided to throw my inventory at the time in this chest here. But I got a bunch of obsidian, which is what we were missing last episode. I already have some iron. Actually, I think I have a decent amount of iron. I know it's um, pulverized, most of it. Yeah, so let me go ahead and take that also. I forget this is even in here, so I don't even know why I'm doing that right now. But I'll go ahead and throw that in there. We need the iron, that, and we need something else. Aluminum, is it? I think it's aluminum. Uh, let me look at it real quick. But this will probably be like our second or third thing. That glare is ridiculous. I still got to figure that out. That's like one of my main other things is figuring out the glare. Got a lot of things to do so far. Uh, iron, obsidian, yeah, aluminum. Wow, five aluminum? Jesus. They have hiked the prices up on that, but I think I can can uh, can afford that. Let me see, please. Okay, 39. I don't know if I'll be able to afford that. We don't really need too much of it, honestly, to make the full um, the the full hammer itself. So we might have enough there. But even with that, I think I can get some more aluminum back in the uh, Twilight Forest. So let's get cracking here. I think we're gonna do the sheet thing first because in order for the sheet thing to work, or excuse me, in order for the elevator, we're gonna need wool. So I want to go ahead and figure this out now. There's a lot of things planned, as you can tell, and I want to get most of them done today but at the same time I don't know if that's I don't know how long it's gonna take and I, I've been trying to figure out how I want to do these episodes uh, just not for the crack pack but for like every episode because I personally enjoy long-form content and I'm gonna sit there and watch it like if it's a series that I really enjoy I'm like yes give me as much as I can possibly take hour long all the time but also some people don't like hour long and I've done this debate over and over and over for as long as I can remember now, since I've been doing like the beginnings of the Mad Pack, where I'm like, okay, we could either do 500 episodes of this thing, where I feel like I'm almost cheating you guys out of episodes, and I forgot to bring wheat. That's that's great. <laughs> I gotta go back. But I could do 500 episodes of this thing where it's like 15 minutes a piece, but like I said, I almost feel like it's too easy to do that, and it breaks up the episode, and it just doesn't feel right. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't feel like there's much work put into it. Now, obviously, if I do things with, say, someone else, like um, the Don't Eat the Stone thing with Chris, the reason why those were 15 minutes apiece isn't because I was like, oh, yeah, let's just throw them all up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My episodes, as many as I can get. No, because I can only get Chris every now and then. I can't get Chris an hour each day. So in order to to make it to where we're not record, or there's not an episode up once a month to where it's unrem unrememberable and it's just like, what was this series again? And no one knows what's going on. It's like, okay, let's stretch those episodes out. So I, I've, you, as you noticed um, in the past, I want to say a week or two, maybe even longer than that, honestly, uh, I've been trying to... What the heck are you? Why do I think this is going to like kill me? Okay. I've been trying to do a few more cuts here and there just to break up the, the back and forth all the time. But at the same time, I still... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Is that more copper? Yeah, give me some of that. Give me... Oh, wow. There's... Holy cow, there's actually quite a bit of copper over here. Okay. I thought for the longest time that was amber, like that stuff there. But yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of it. Holy cow. So let me go and grab a lot of this. Now, I don't know if copper is like emeralds where you can get... Uh, well, I guess emeralds only spawn in extreme hills. But I wonder if it spawns like more oftenly in this type of biome. I'm not really sure. This marble's good too. I've always planned to do something with that and I never got around to it. Maybe that's what... Oh, maybe we'll make... um, Huh... Hold on here. Maybe we'll make the agenda room something out of this. I think the marble, I think it has staircasing too. And this marble here doesn't really look very good. But some way or another, I think it's part of the chisel mod now. Huh. Used to be part of a different mod. I think it was even buildcraft was what it was a part of. I could be wrong with that. But with the chisel mod, then there's going to be different textures. So there's probably going to be the marble bricks. And I know at least in the buildcraft mod, it looked pretty nice as bricks. So... I'm going to try and take a few of these. Obviously, I'm not going to get as many as I probably need here. And I'll forget that it's even here to begin with. And uh, <laughs> and then I'll be searching for it forever. But let me go ahead and just grab a few more of these things so I don't get too sidetracked. I really hope that finding sheep is easy. Let me go ahead and see. Why isn't this turned on? Radar on. Neutrals on. Okay, so that will help out a lot. Wow. The cow game is definitely up there right now. But I can see some sheep over in this, uh, this uh, snow biome here. So we're going to head out this way. 
and see if we can pick up a few of these guys. What I probably should do, I'm not going to do it now, but what I probably should have done is uh, make the pen before I get the sheep so they're not scattered about, but eh, I don't I don't seem to plan as well as I thought I have. Okay, so, or, or I, I don't seem to have planned as well as I thought I had. Excuse me, not have. I don't know what I'm saying here. All right, so let's go this way. And then also, I, I've always done this, but as of recently too, I like to correct myself over and over because I feel like an idiot if I say the, the, the thing and I feel like that m lets you learn more. So if it's it's like, what the heck is this kid on about every now and then where I, I say the same thing twice, it's that I'm trying to just to fix it and uh, trying to make it as smooth as possible here. Please go on. Please. No, you. Thank you. Cow, I really don't. Like, I have a lot of cows. I don't. You know what? You can come along. I kind of like you. But you, you stay back. Actually, you know what? I bet these two are... Yeah, these two look to be twins. They're... Yeah. They're... Their skins are pretty much identical. Uh, <laughs> that PNG file. Alright, you can come along too. So, somehow I needed... Okay, he doesn't want to come along anymore. Somehow I came here to get two sheep and I got a cow. <laughs> Alright, as long as they don't... Because um... they get distracted every now and then. I'm not really sure why they do that. I'm trying not to get too far from them. Uh, how far are we? 151. Okay. Now, I mentioned earlier in the episode about the force field thing, and I don't think I really went uh, into too much detail as to why that's kind of cool. And I don't even know if this still exists, but at the time when uh, me and Chris tried this out a long time ago, it had to been, I think, over a year now, maybe even longer, which isn't really that long in the grand scheme of things, but pr pretty long for a video. And um, when we did that, you can get up the force field to where no mobs can go inside. Now, also, you can get an upgrade, and I think it's called the module, hence the name module uh, force field, but you can get one of those and you can make it to where anything that spawns in there that's a enemy, so that's a hostile mob, not a neutral, it will just immediately despawn almost. It, it kills it, but it's like a despawn at that point. It kills it so quickly. Please? That's what I'm talking about. Now this one's going to lose attention here in a second. Please. Okay, you're still good. I don't like this one. He's like hiding. That's maybe why the cow's following him. He thinks he's a mushroom, but in disguise he's a sheep. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hut two. Hut two. We don't have all day here. I honestly should have just like brought some shears, but this has been a problem for like the longest time So I just think it's better for me to Just get a sheep pen up and going now And the main reason why this was never done and why it's a problem in the first place Isn't because I never decided to do it, but because they won't eat the origin grass I can get as many sheep as I possibly want But as soon as I shear them, they're not gonna eat the the grass to get their wool back. Why is it you? Why is it only you? Even the cow listens better Gotta wait for this one to figure out what he's doing again. Come on. Hey, free wheat. Thank you. <laughs> he liked that. Okay, let's go. We're not too much farther away. My gosh, this is taking quite a while. Come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, so I think I'm gonna do one of those things that I was talking about earlier, which is a cut, and uh, just try and get these guys over. I'm gonna probably make the sheep pen too at the same time, just because it's, it's a sheep pen, it's a square. But um, I'll explain as to why it's made and the location that it's made once uh, once we get back. So I'll see you guys in one second. Hopefully with a sheep pen made. Who knows? Maybe these guys blow up and every single sheep in the uh, in the entire area just immediately blow up somehow. That would be my luck. But I'll see you guys in one moment. All right. So there is our sheep pen. Uh, <laughs> it's not much. It was pretty much a very quick uh, shoveling right there. I, I just boom and kind of hauled this out. There was no dimensions that I measured out and... I think I very, very overly prepared for the size of this thing because I made so many more fences than what I ever needed. But just to uh, sum this up really, really quickly because I know I'll get questions about this. The reason why the nether brick fences are here is because I can go in and out of this, but the mobs can't. So I don't need a, a gate or anything. And I always feel like the gate where I'm like, okay, bring them over to this side of the pen. Now rush, 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 and close the gate behind you. You don't have to worry about that. You just run in and out. They can't get it out. Uh, at least when there's a nether brick fence next to a regular fence. I, I said that when I made this one, but we had a few new people join in since then. So just wanted to make sure I'd clarify that up before I got some questions. So I don't know. Where did that, oh, he's down there. I was about to say, where did that cow go? So these two at least are together now. And we'll bring them over here. We'll get their wool. And as you can also see, it's not by the other pen. And it, I, I tried to make it as close as I could. And it was kind of, this was the only spot to really make it as close as I could with, uh, with still being able to have the other grass that they could eat. So this is at least a different biome. It's the Minecraft grass, not the origin grass from Biomes of Plenty. So they can easily eat that and boom, good to go. So 
I don't like the way that looks. I honestly don't like this backdrop either. Like, look at that thing. <laughs> this lucky shovel is ridiculous. So, there we go. I just need to go downstairs real quickly, grab the shears, and come back. So, after we get this done, I'll probably go ahead and start my <laughs> hopefully quick process on getting the tool made for, or, or excuse me, the hammer made, so that then we can use that to hollow out the the elevator well i don't really know if we're gonna use it for the elevator we'll have to see but i'll get it hollowed out just so we can make the room later on too that'll at least be used for it so let's get our shears please tell me we have some great okay but we have a decent amount of iron which we're gonna need to use uh later on either way so i'm not really sure why i'm using this right now uh didn't I, hold on a second didn't i need iron earlier and like i went to put it in the furnace i just remembered for the smeltery, I think I could just put the iron ore in there. Yeah, I can just put the iron ore and that would help out a lot more. Yeah, what? Why? Why do I do this? <laughs> I was not thinking there at all, but got some XP off of that. And there's some more iron. Uh, the shears. All right, good to go. Let's, let's go back up there and get this now. I believe for the elevator, we need eight wool, which I don't think these two are going to produce. But we at least have some wheat here, so we'll get another sheep. And we'll come back to this... Mm, Pretty much every five minutes and see if they have some more wool here. So, of course she would pay off one. You know what I said about you being my favorite sheep out of the two? I take that back. Unless this guy gives me... Okay, you know what? You both gave me one. Never mind. You still got the... You still got the mushroom. I don't... Why is all this junk? Ugh. I don't know why the magnet mode never works on any eye in this pack. I've tried it so many times. Like, I think right now. Aren't we in utility mode? Why do I always do that? Uh... Inventory, utility mode, magnet mode is on. So, I'm not really sure why that... I've been told... Hold on. Is it because I don't have cheats enabled? Do I have cheats? Uh, yeah, yeah. We've been, go we've been able to go into game mode before. So, I'm not really sure why it, why it doesn't want to work. And why does that look awful right there? Wait, what? This whole time, I could have just placed the... I'm done. I'm done. I forgot. I could have just placed the Minecraft grass inside this biome. So, it really could have been, like, right here. But I actually kind of like where that is. Because sheep are... Brrr, like, these cows annoy me as it is. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. That garden needs some work, too. All right, so let's head back down here. And I really hope that everything I've tried with the smeltery is finally going to work. So let's see here. We need our obsidian, which is here. We need da, 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 the iron there and the aluminum. Now, I mentioned earlier, I don't know if this is going to be enough aluminum, just because you need quite a bit of it, but hopefully we'll be good. So I need five of this here for once. I'm going to do ten. So we'll do that. That's nine. So let me add in one more. And I think it's two obsidian and two iron, I believe. But that's okay. Okay, I'm going to need two iron there because we're doing two batches. Alright, so we'll let that do its thing. I'm sure the obsidian will take quite a while. And also, I don't think I have any more... Uh, do it. Are those still smelting? Yeah, they actually are. Okay. I do have some more lava. It just never wants to show up sometimes when I look in here. Like, that should be filled with lava. That's the that's the meter, so you can see it. But for some reason, it doesn't show. But if I just hover over it with uh, any eye, it at least shows me how much it has in it. So that's going good enough. Right now, it's still the aluminum. Oh, there it goes. Now it decides to pop in. I don't know why I didn't do that before. So let it do its thing. Um, let it do its thing. Excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these few things here. Now the one thing I'm worried about is that we're not going to have enough materials to do this. I think we will, but I can never be uh, certain about this. So plop that one down. That's going to cost just as... Well, that's one of the more expensive ones. These both cost pretty, uh, pretty well. Um... That's 550 now. You can see now it's just the iron and it will combine together once we can get this here. So, really hope it's a decent amount. Let's see. I don't know if it will add it in like 28 with the 20 and the 8 or not. Oh no. It's only. Oh my god, it's only 6? So, it should be 12 after this goes up? Oh my gosh, that was so, so little. No. Okay, I can still make more actually. So, that's not even a big concern. Was it two there? It was 10 with this. We're going to need some more lava pretty soon, though. What is that, 10? I think that's 10. Uh, you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. And give me 
these last four there. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing, but we can pour this one for now. So this is, I believe, the second best you can get because the first best, I've done it so many times, I really don't think it's needed because if you have the right things on it for, um, for making it, so if you have the auto regen, you don't need the best. It really doesn't make much of a difference. And uh, in order to get the best, you actually need this one. This is the only thing it can mine it out. So either way, we need to make this. I don't think I'm going to make the best one possible just because it doesn't make any sense to uh, go ahead and do that. Can I pour more of that? Oh, I actually can. Sweet. Uh, I have two. Now I have zero. Okay. So that's still the aluminum there. Wait, what? Oh, it didn't even pour all the way. It still needs more. My gosh. This takes so much. Okay, so have it do its thing there. I'm going to get some more aluminum while it's... Still got space there. Let it do its thing. Yeah, that's going to need some more lava. So I'm going to run downstairs real quick. This is where I need a world anchor inside of this thing. Like right now, how much world do I have? Great. Three. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need a world anchor around here. Like by the sheet pen now that we have that. Probably going to be right behind this ME terminal. Just so I can keep it running at all times. Um... That's good. When did I get barley seeds? Cotton seeds. I guess I'll just throw all that junk in there. I don't really think I'll use it, but just in case. Uh, what, what did I come in here for? The wall, but also it was something else. Oh, yeah. Bucket, bucket. Uh, Do I have a lava bucket? Of course not. Wait a second. I do. I thought I had... Yes, I got one from earlier. Sweet. So, we can just go ahead and use this one. I think this will give me a decent amount, right? Yes. Nice. Okay, so that can continue. Oh, wow. All of it's done. Nice. Go ahead and put our four there. So it's pretty much just four piece for those and then the rest. Oh, I don't have ten. I can't, okay, I'll just put all that in there for now. But I'm not going to have enough to finish that off. How much did I have there to begin with? Ten still? This thing is expensive. The the uh, hammer that we're making right now, they're very expensive. But also they pay off a lot once you can get them working here. So I don't want to move that. I want to move this here. Get that going there. Trying to think, where could we get some more aluminum at? Because I really want to get this thing done with. Like, I want to put some modifiers on it, mess around with it a bit, and then forget about Tinker's Construct for a while. We might make a few swords out of it, but for right now, I just, I want to get this, because it's been almost, back to 100, what the heck? Okay, that's not right. It's been almost to the point where it's it's like a burden, and I just want to get the Tinker's Construct stuff out of the way, because we spent a whole episode getting it ready and just building the thing and then i was like oh god <laughs> uh-oh we gotta we gotta wrap up here that was an hour so I, I i don't even know i do apologize for that i didn't think we were even anywhere near an hour uh aluminum no that's like silver down there. there's some more iron i believe that there's probably some more in here somewhere on the walls maybe even if i can't find it here i know uh, of some other places where i can find it like I bet you right now, in up top there, I can find another one. Also, if you noticed earlier, oh, I forgot I had this here too, the diamond still, that uh, I haven't got because I ran out of my fortune pickaxe, so I wanted to save that. But if you noticed earlier, one of my other goals was to uh, just reset the quarry and move it a bit, and I'll probably put almost... I'm going to do that probably off camera because I'm going to put two of them now rather than just one and run them both off of that windmill or the wind turbine, excuse me. And uh, get those going there. But let me see. Oh, I think I just saw one. Did I see one? Now I'm getting confused with it. They blend in so well sometimes with uh, all the different things. Here we go. That's what I thought. Okay, give me that. And we really only needed one, but I'll try and get as many as I can here. Is that it? All right, good to go. But as I say that, we're going to need more for the next batch. Because there is going to be a next batch too. Gosh, these things are so expensive. Hold on. We might be able to get it all. Give me that. So let's try and get 10. Or no, 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 11. 11 is what we're going to need in total. So if I can get that much, then we'll be good to go. And I think we'll be good on aluminum because we're good on everything else, right? Yeah, obsidian is fine. Iron I know for sure is fine. Uh, we have like 520-something iron blocks. Ooh, I like that gold there. I might go get that later on. There's some more up there. Let's just do it rather than staring at it for a while. Do we have anything else? Let me use the grass just for now. Let's go. Uh. I don't know for, why for like the longest time I never thought that I could just bring the Minecraft grass over to the origin grass. Because I was thinking that it was just going to turn into the origin grass, but I forgot it's grass. It's not dirt. Is that going to fall? Holy cow. That balance right now. I would be so dead. Please tell me there's not just one. Of course there's one. Alright, this is where the hang glider comes in handy. Just fall down here. So, 
I think that's about it for this one. Oh no, here we go. Come on, give me one more thing. Oh, two more, two more. Okay, we're gonna probably move on to the next hill here. If I can't find, oh, there's one. Come on, two. Yes, okay, never mind. We don't need the next hill. Sweet, okay, let's head back home because that was way longer than what it had to have been. Uh, what if I go home instead? I still don't know what this problem is with the tree. I removed pretty much the whole tree. First of all, there was a tree like there and that was what, what, I, what I was spawning on. So I took that out. Then there was this big tree here that I started spawning on for some random reason. So I'll have to take out the rest of this base here. I don't know why I haven't done that just yet. Mainly the time reasons like I mentioned earlier. But I'll probably start spawning like up on that big tree with my luck. So I don't know what the fascination with the waypoints and the trees are. But they seem to just go together really well. And uh, troll me 100% of the time here. So let's get the rest of these in. Uh, maybe if I click the right one that would help. Let's get all of that. Uh, one more there. Because I gotta get the iron in. So, get that there. Obsidian's good to go. Oh, wait! Hold on. I didn't know the head was already ready. Hold on. We've got. We got enough. <laughs> We've got enough. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because the last, like, one thing of balloon. I don't think it was. I think we had enough before we even went there. Wow, okay. When was. I thought we didn't have. I don't even know. Well, we have enough now. So, let's go ahead and go into the parts builder, is it? It's one of these stencils. Do I not have it? Oh, it's the tool forge. Hold on, I need to make the tool forge. Tool forge, excuse me. That's pretty easy to make, I think. Just uh, some iron blocks, I think it almost is. Is it iron blocks? Sheared, seared bricks. Do I have these things? Do I have these stupid things? I swear if I don't have these stupid things. Um, Seared. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, three of these. Okay, let me make sure I click once and don't make a bunch of these clear that put the cobblestone in there put the tin in there too i there's so much junk why <laughs> okay so we got that there was the iron that we needed so i guess that iron that we uh used earlier actually came in handy now we needed was it four no was it two i think 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 all right guys so I don't know what just happened. So basically, right there was where the episode decided to cut off. My audio was completely lost. I still have the video, but it just, it stopped. It, the, the program itself just canceled. I was lucky that I even had the audio that I even have. I Like I mentioned earlier with the whole thing of this week, it has not been with me at all. <laughs> so I do apologize. It's not anything I can control. Like I said, I'm even lucky that I have the the audio that I have now I don't even know what happened I've used this program for years now and this is like the first time that it's ever decided to crash on me oh this week so I do apologize guys but just to catch you up a bit uh we decided to I don't know why I always say we I, I apologize for that I decided to excuse me go ahead and test out the hammer itself I wanted to see exactly what uh, durability it was going to do so we so I just went ahead and uh mined out the elevator room that I was going to do for the agenda, talked a little bit about what I was going to do with that, which is basically I'm going to line all the walls with boards. I'm going to have a chest next to the wall with just like stacks and stacks of signs so that whenever I need to put anything, like anything that I could possibly think of, like, hey, build a surf shack or something just random like that, that may never happen. Just put it up on the board just in case. So that was what I did there with the agenda. Now, after that, I went ahead and I built the elevators and kept running back to the sheep, got a few more sheep. I found a really weird cow ravine or something with a bunch of cows, which was, I, I wish that was still there. That's kind of sad. But either way, uh, I opened up the few lucky blocks that we had, which now I kind of, uh, this, this, this whole like misfortune is really annoying, but Got a few few decent lucky blocks. I got another nether star, which was kind of cool. But that was about the rest of the episode there. So I do apologize for this just random cutout. Like I mentioned, it's never happened in the like two and a half years that I've used this program. And yeah, so that's about it. Thank you for uh, watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I do apologize for the cutout. But next episode, I will definitely be monitoring this thing like a hawk, making sure that it works. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.